A full moon over a vigil in memory of the victims of the Columbine High School Massacre. But many consider America's first mass school shooting took place in the community of Littleton, Colorado, April 20th, 1999, 20 years ago today. The attack by two Columbine seniors killed 12 fellow students and a teacher and may have set the stage for the school shootings that haunt us to this very day. Barry Peterson is in Littleton this morning. Barry. Good morning, Anthony. This is the Columbine Memorial to the 12 students and the teacher killed that day. Each person has a plaque with something personal. Here's Daniel Mauser, who's willing to share his wisdom and knowledge. This is a place where people come to remember. But for one man who knew all these people as friends or students and who survived that day, there is no way to forget. You know, I, Kiki Leba was in his first year teaching English and history at Columbine. I can see the silhouette of uh, a gunman holding a long rifle, mm -hmm. but I can also hear gunfire. He's still teaching at Columbine, and when you talk to him, you wonder, was it 20 years ago or just yesterday? You were there 20 years, and yet it's, there's still pain in your voice. Trauma has memory and uh, we, can, we can feel it. Students still walk those same halls, learning English and math, and these days, how to survive an active shooter. The drills aren't overkill. We only do one lockdown drill a year. I feel extremely safe at Columbine. And while that may change students' futures, it does not ease Kiki's past. What was left behind in all of those years after Columbine and we just moved on? Trying to, uh, to heal whatever that looks like. Um, there's always the push to move forward, which drives me crazy. The largest group is that non-physically wounded, traumatized population. And, uh, and then also the families that get lost in that as well. After the murders at Sandy Hook Elementary School, their staff asked Kiki to come and share his insights and his memories. To see it on their faces and their eyes was so difficult. But when you spoke with those people and they saw that you were on the, I wouldn't say on the other side, but on the mending part of this, did that help? Yes. Yes. I think it's a, it's a really important part of that healing to have that opportunity to meet with somebody or talk to somebody who can relate to your experience. Steve Siegel agrees. He was a victim's advocate for the Denver District Attorney. What are they suffering? They're going through a, a time where their wounds have been ripped open. It's flooding back. It's flooding back in. Kiki's memories include this newspaper from the day after. I saw scenes like this, but I didn't know what it was going to be. I didn't know how big it was. I didn't know how life-changing it could be. But I really kind of wonder if we should always keep this going on to remember what happened and what the lessons were. We really need to keep the dialogue. And the dialogue means the memories. Well, yeah, the memories. I mean, that's part of it. I mean, it's a package deal when it comes down to, you know, these mass shootings, school shootings. Uh, there's, you're, inevitably, you're going to be dealing with that. And um, it's part of what we have to deal with until something changes. There will be a remembrance service here later this afternoon. It'll draw huge crowds, students, survivors, family members. And I'm sure, like Kiki, many of them will also be wondering how many more of these before something changes. Michelle? All right, Barry, I tell you, it is um, no questions can answer the why. Yeah. It, in, in all the stories that I've seen this week, it, what's so powerful is how, how touched everybody Everyone. still is. And what Kiki said, trauma has memory, right. is, is so spot on. And, and even that idea that you're not on the other side of it. No, You're never. still mending. And think about that. Yeah. 20 years later, you're still mending and you haven't gotten to that other side. Yeah, I was, I was the first from CBS at Newtown. And I will never, ever forget the yeah. first moment of looking at my phone and seeing 20 children dead yeah. after thinking it may have been just a fight. Yeah. I mean, it just is, it stays with you.
stays with you.